Ah, the joys of growing a small plot of wheat. A bit of planting, a bit of watering, the golden ears ripening in the sun. Then there's the mesmerizing swish of the scythe cutting the dry stalks and laying them into rows for the age-old ritual of gathering the harvest to store until threshing time. But the threshing itself can be a formidable task. The past two centuries of large threshers and then combines have all but obliterated the older processes of hand threshing and winnowing in the developed world, and little in the way of intermediate technologies for this essential and very labor-intensive work has emerged. With far too small a grain plot for a combine, and yet large enough to make hand threshing a bit daunting, and yes, we tried it one year, I decided to explore the idea of a human-powered machine scaled to the small grower that made use of the basic processes employed in larger machines. What follows is a short description of a new machine made mostly from scrap materials that aims at threshing and winnowing homegrown wheat with only human power. The intention was to see if one person could power a relatively small machine. It's definitely still in the experimental stage. Fundamentally, the machine is very conventional in operation, except that it's small in scale and needs to be very efficient in order to run on the limited power of one peddler. The rider pedals an adapted exercise bike, which, through the first chain gearing, converts a 60 RPM crank speed to a flywheel pace of 195 RPMs. That 12-inch flywheel drives a serpentine belt to a 6-inch pulley, which doubles the RPMs to about 400. The threshing drum spins at that rate, and the secondary drive to the screen oscillator maintains that 400 RPMs. The adapted dryer fan has a much smaller pulley, which brings the RPMs to 1600, which is needed for the proper airflow to the winnowing tower. I chose serpentine belts for the high-speed aspects of the drivetrain because they're very efficient and the pulleys are readily available at auto rocking yards for next to nothing. The threshing drum spins within its housing, beating the ears of grain, and the concave is simply a section of three-quarter inch gravel screen bent to the proper radius about the drum. The wheat, chaff, and some straw falls through the concave screen to the scalping screen, which is just one-half inch expanded metal. That screen sorts out the large debris, and the wheat and chaff fall through it to the lower screen, which allows dirt and small debris to drop delivering the wheat and chaff to the vertical air column that winnows it. At the lower part of that column, the clean wheat falls through a slot to a container below. We decided to wait until it snowed to thresh our wheat this year, and here's some Corazon wheat that we got out of our small plot here in Montana. And Jeffrey's gonna bring over the threshing machine, and we'll show you how easy it is to move it. Here he comes with his machine. This is the second half of the machine coming. Um, this is the bicycle powered, recumbent bicycle power part. And you can see the flywheel just shining there. Um, and it hooks right up here. This is probably gonna need to uh, do a little leveling because we're on rough ground. But that's the basic setup. So this is the threshing drum, which which rotates here, and I'll get on the bike and show how it moves. The guard has been take the guard's been taken off, and you can see. Just walk around, and you can see all the different parts of the machine. Don't put your hands near it, though. Oh, you need to see up. Speed. Use the There's a lot of flywheel. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get up to speed, it's... There you go. Push, push. Good. Nice. Faster. Much more work remains to be done to improve the machine, but the basic concept and principles appear to work well. One person can indeed power it without too much trouble. 
If it were adapted for two riders, an example of which can be seen in my YouTube pedal-powered cider press in Montana, then it would really be a breeze. I hope this simple demonstration will lead to better, maybe simpler machines built by anyone with sufficient passion and ingenuity.